Hello and welcome on my channel, Wolf Aqua, your channel about horticulture, aquaponics and aquaculture. So, and because I always get asked questions and the same questions over and over again about water chemistry and certain water chemistry parameters, that's why I'm going to make now a small video series where I go, I go into detail and explain certain parameters. And in this episode, we're going to start with the pH and the EC and let's go. So let's assume we have here this fish tank, right, or this tank with water. So and we can use both of these parameters mentioned before, pH and EC, to describe the water quality of our water. So let's start with the pH. So the pH, what's actually the pH? So the pH gives you an indication if your water or your media is sour or alkaline, or alkaline. and uh, the pH is on a scale from 1 to 14 and 7 is called the neutral point. So if we talk about the pH, what, what are we actually talking about? So the pH is describing a relationship between H plus ions and OH minus plions in the water. So sometimes you also read, instead of H plus, you read H3O plus uh, and OH minus. And um, if from both of these ions are available in the same quantity, we have a pH of 7. And if we have more H plus ions in our water, we have a more sour environment. If we have more OH minus in our environment, we have a more alkaline environment. So, but why is this so important for our systems? So it doesn't matter. It can be in the garden, but it can also be in a hydroponic system or in an aquaponic system or in an aquaculture system. So the pH has a strong influence on many different parameters in the water. For example, on the power of your biofilter system, or it has an influence or an impact on the relationship between ammonia and ammoniac. So that's why the pH is actually a very important parameter to take into account. In aquaponic system, or also in a recirculation aquaculture system, I would recommend the pH between 6.5 and, and 7, so almost on the neutral side. Uh, however, in a pure hydroponic system, I would recommend rather lower pH, somewhere between 5.5 and 6.5, ideally 5.8, but uh, whenever you measure your pH, always keep in mind there's like a measuring error. And this measuring error is usually points, 0.2 units, so plus minus. So if your pH is just not exact the number you want, don't worry, it's no reason to panic. All right. So, and there's like a second parameter called EC. I mean, the EC is, stands for, or the abbreviation EC stands for electrical conductivity. So, and that's like a sum parameter and just gives you an indication how good actually electricity can flow through your media. Most of the time, when I'm saying media, I mean water, right? And uh, that's it. It doesn't tell you anything more. So unfortunately, actually, because it would be very nice if you can read the EC and you know, okay, I have this much of salts and this much of whatever kind of element in the water, but it doesn't allow that. So, and why is the EC important? Because the EC is a pretty easy measurement and very reliable measurement. And um, if you have like a hydroponic system, your fertilizer is usually kind of a salt. And if you add more salts to the water, the EC increases because the conductivity gets better over the time. So, uh, and with the EC, we can monitor actually how much nutrients we put into our nutrient solution or into our water. So in an aquaponic setup, I would recommend like an EC of 1.4 or lower or maybe a little bit higher. <coughs> it really depends on, on your system, on your um, case, let's say it like that. And, uh, but there also <coughs> fish can tolerate, like freshwater fish can tolerate EC levels of 3, 4, actually without any problem. And in, actually, it is actually not too bad if the freshwater fish is swimming in very slightly salt water because uh, then the mucus production is increased and ectoparasites have less chance to get attached to the fish. So get, they get actually mucus away, if that is a word. Anyway, <coughs> uh, furthermore, for plants, it's a little bit different. So if you have there an EC level of, uh, of 3 or 4 or higher, some plants already really do not like it and start to burn. So then you can see in the, on the tip of the plants that they really uh, are standing in too salty water. So uh, the majority of plants, I would say, are grown in an EC range between 1.2 and, and 2. 
oh, by the way, the EC is measured usually in two units. This I'm a micro, uh, micro Siemens per second or in milli Siemens per second. And most of the time, what you see is uh, milli Siemens. So you have like a value of 1.6, 1.4 and, uh, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Just keep that in mind. What EC level is the right EC level, EC level for you also really depends, now talking about plants, uh, how big or small your plants are already. I mean, the smaller plants should get not the full strength EC and a taller plant can handle way more salts in the water. So, and this was already the first episode of the water chemistry series I'm going to make now. If you like this video or if you have any specific questions, just post it in the comment section below. I would be very happy if you give us a subscription and a like for this video. And I really hope to see you next time when it comes to the next episode of Water Chemistry in Aquaponics. And bye bye!